very pleased and very happy uh, to have you here today. Uh, and I'll come a little bit back to on uh, on uh, on this very, I think, very exciting stuff. I'm so happy to have, uh, uh, I would say, the next generation of uh, hopefully DXC employees uh, sitting in the room. We'll see. Yeah, because of the young people, the children who participate in the coding challenge, and because of that, I would like to ask some questions. Just make you tell us briefly how you think the whole thing went. How was the challenge? And I'm going to ask you like, to tell us, to share with us, how did it go? What do you think was the most exciting? Uh, uh, the like About the whole thing, what did you like most? That we got to learn more stuff in that's Nepal that's while we went through. Yeah, that's very good. And what was challenging? Because um, it's called chale code challenge. So the challenging part was, I think, just putting it together and getting all the code right mm. so it's not full of bugs. Yeah. That was difficult. Mm. Because sometimes when you added new pieces of code, something else would stop working and it would take a really long time to fix it. Do you think you have uh, like gained some experience, learned more yeah. from doing this particular task? Yeah, I think I've learned a lot of the most of Okay, and again, it's not about only these ones, because if they did not get the support from the parents and the teachers, they would not be able to do it. So I'd also th like to thank the parents for supporting them, for uh, giving them a push, because they also need the mentors. And of course, as we say, a mentor is not going to help them do the coding, but just to, to make sure that they don't run into problems, that you're always there for them. Have you been working like, not forgetting your homework while working on this project? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, um, um, but we did, like, I didn't get that much homework at that time, but okay. yeah, I did try to use my free time on it. If you are going to give one piece of the advice to the people who are going to join next year, what would it be? To, um, Get a good team who can plan stuff. <laughs> okay. Um. To uh, like, tell us your teammates what you're gonna do before you do it. So okay. That okay. No. That's very good because now we have only two, and for to qualify, if you are going to be along next year, then you need your third person. Is she coming back, or you um, are thinking of getting another one? No, she's left from Denmark, mm -hmm. but. We'll have to make a new team. Okay. So, um, I just want again to say that we are very happy to have you here. And the, as the director has welcomed you and told you about what we do, I want again to hand you over to him because I think he has a small gift for you. Next year, don't make the, the game so difficult to win, right? Because I think some <laughs> of the people have tried the games and they can't get through it, through the different levels, right? So. <laughs> So, uh, on behalf of DXC, <coughs> on behalf of DXC, it gives me great pleasure uh, to give this uh, little token of appreciation to you. Uh, I think it's well deserved. Uh, the fact that you're actually spending time on this outside your school, normal school curriculum is a great testament to your dedication, and uh, uh, and I really congratulate you. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it a hand of applause.
Rough, 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 rough,